first match, the very first attack here, which is gonna be Lenade for alternate attacks going in. And Woody looks like he's coming in with a hybrid. Let's see what Lenade can do. Interesting army setup. Yeah, bringing in the first use of the Headhunter, a yes. troop that targets onto enemy heroes. Yes, that Headhunter goes straight for those enemy heroes, and it kind of acts like a little bit of a poison spell, slowing them down, using that super wall breaker on the outside, going to charge this queen directly into the core to go for that scatter shot. He does have one, a second super wall break, so let's see if he can try to break this queen further into the base, but keep an eye out. The town hall is down further towards 6 o'clock on Evechek's base, and out comes some archers and double ice cones with an enemy Headhunter in there as well. Yeah, interesting deployment there from Eve Check using the Headhunter on defense as well. But here we go, Lenade is finishing off the first stage of this attack, Ooh. uses that Queen ability and the Raid spell to wow. top her right back off. She's getting awfully low, but I think she'll survive this early attack, and that's going to be a good start for Lenade, looking to make his big move on the bottom now with Miners and Hog Riders. Yeah, indeed, with that Siege Barracks down south, dropping the heal spell right in. The Royal Champion is finally getting deployed, and the Queen is going to be able to take down that Eagle Arc artillery towards the top side really nice charge through there but she doesn't have the ability anymore it looks like she might go down to a single target front up oh. top and he needs to make his way through it there's the next single next to the town hall get ready for the grand warrior general tell him to protect everything with a rage and there he goes he's gonna charge his way through but the queen has been taken out down top up top yeah, glorious timing on that bottom side of the attack. Unfortunately, loses the queen to the single target in front, but still going in really strong with a bunch of hog riders. Has got a very healthy Grand Warden backing them up with some healers uh, that have went and focused on. Uh, 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 looks like she's not going for the pack just yet. Uh, yeah. Over on the right side, we're going to get a little bit more cleanup along the edge, but that's a ton of miners and hog riders still left, and not much in the way of defense. Just two wizard towers up top uh, that each check is defending with, but I think Lene might have this one hooked. Yeah, there is the enemy king that is up there next to the wizard tower, the two wizard towers and the single target Grand Inferno. If this king can help stall this up, I don't know, he's got a handful of miners here. Oh. The splash damage from the wizard tower is doing some work. Some wizards left with a Grand Warden. Is it oh. defense? It's running short, Woody. My goodness, that level 75 clockwork wow. king would not go down. Defending against miners and keeping those hog riders at bay. There's not very many defenses left, but I think actually Lenate's forces are just starting to be Whoa. whittled away. And yeah, that's it. A two-star 94% from our first hit. Great job to Lenate, but each check's defenses will hold. Yeah, that king up top at 12 did help defend that base right there. Stalled up those miners, especially with a ground skeleton that did pop up there. Would help them even more. But we saw the new use of the headhunter is on use on defense as well. It will go straight for your hero, so you have to be very careful. But we're jumping into the very next attack, which is going to be Nick going against Boom's base. And Nick doing one of his signature attacks, which is going to be the Sui Lalo. But actually, we have the lightning spell in this attack woody look at this interesting yeah he's brought seven of them a really big buff to the lightning spell uh, bringing down the spell storage space from two to one makes it a lot more versatile he's gonna zap it right into the center of the base there and crack and open uh, some containers there with those earthquake spells as well lots of damage into the interior but he's got to back it up now with this lava loon push uh, brought in one super wall breaker so that's gonna help crack in to this right side compartment these heroes are going down uh, but they weren't essential for the second stage of this attack they're just trying to get as much damage as they possibly can before we go in for the heavy hitter aerial assault yeah he's looking like he can take down this town hall with the one super wall breaker and he has a headhunter and the siege machine which is the stone slammer that is what's going to be help responsible for the, for the enemy royal champion and the enemy queen since the lightning spells did not take down any one of those heroes which would target the loons and look at this this, this queen is going to take this town hall down very nicely the popper ability and take down one of the air expos as well that's going to help tremendously with the lala with three haste and two freeze and here it goes He's starting from the top side with some minions behind beautifully for cleanup. And here we go. This is looking pretty strong, Woody. 
Yeah, crucially, you can notice a lot of ground-pointed expos on this base that Boom has got set up. That means that Nick definitely wants to keep high into the sky. He's got these Lava Hounds coming up top to block for those air defenses, but they're getting heated up by that Inferno Tower, burning through this Lava Hound. I think it's gonna pop! Boom! Yep. Goes out, and a bomb right on top of it kills all the Lava Pups wow. instantly! Look at that, that Headhunter takes down that Queen, now pops the ability, the Dragon is gonna go down, can the Headhunter take down the enemy Royal Champion? And oh, it's almost, she's got a little bit of health left with the Balloons moving through, three Balloons left, and a Minion, this is looking really good, he needs his Minions to lock on and take down this Royal Champion, and can he get down to the bottom side, Wizard Tower with two Balloons left, this is looking pretty strong here for Nick, he's gonna distract the Wizard Tower, he needs just a little bit more, and that Royal Champion is trying to defend this base. Nick is an employee at NASA, so he's used to soaring high in the sky. This aerial attack oh. is starting to get uh, into a little bit of trouble here. That royal champion has got no one to take her down. Uh, you don't have to finish her off, but finally the balloon can yes. get the lock. Finish her off, and with that, I think we're on our way to our first three-star, Carbon. It's looking like it with 34 seconds left. The minions are going to help clean up. Nick coming in clutch with the very first attack from Tribe Gaming. And indeed, it is going to be a triple with that Zap. Lalo, I've been using a lot of those lightning spells. Wow, Banks, incredible triple right there. We've seen it all now. It's our first triple of the qualifier. What an incredible attack from Nick from Tribe Gaming. Awesome job. And just take a look at the replay of the big balloon parade that Nick gets set up here on the top side, using that Grand Warden Eternal Tome to protect these balloons right when they were getting right into the thick of it, dropping free spells on the backside to keep those wizard towers immobilized. Perfect use uh, of spells in this raid. I gotta say, that was really uh, a masterclass in Lava Loon deployment. Yeah, and the update did just come out not too long ago, and so you had to see the bases change up, but the CC and the Eagle was really close. But now we're jumping into the very next attack, which is going to be Volley coming in with 36 Hog Riders, and there are some lightning spells as well. I feel like we're going to see a lot of lightning spells over this weekend, Woody. Very likely, it's looking uh, to be one of the best spells to use with Lava Hound now that it's been tweaked a bit. Taking a look at Valet's army composition, he's going ground bound right now with 36 hog riders. Valet is a former member of Tribe Gaming, so he's got a little bit of an interesting dynamic to play for in this match here today. Attacking Eve Maxi, one of the strongest defenders for Tribe Gaming. It's going to be a tough run here, going in on the ground with two headhunters. Uh, you really have to focus down that enemy Archer Queen and Barbarian King if you want to have any shot at all at three stars with a hog rider heavy army comp like the one that Valet. Brought. Yeah, absolutely. And using those lightning spells to help take down that clan castle so you don't need to bring that poison spell. But you have to watch out because I've done a lot of testing with hogs and the biggest problem, all this queen, oh, the town all stays. The biggest issue that I've seen with hogs when you're trying to come in is all the ground skeletons. If you move around with hogs, all those ground skellies do so much work. It's incredible. But with that town all staying up, now he's got to figure out something. Maybe save that royal champion to grab it as he moves the hogs around. But if he really, oh no, he's gonna send it right into the town hall here, Woody going straight into the thick of it and not what you want to have to do with hog riders. They're going to get burnt up and force out an early Grand Warden Eternal Tome to protect them from that massive bomb that goes off as soon as the Town Hall gets destroyed. This is going to be a really big uphill battle for Vale. He's going to definitely get those two stars in his cleanup nice along the edges of this base, gutting the interior with these hog hammer swings, but there's still a lot of splash damage defenses oh, up. Yeah. They're going up against a bomb tower. Three, no, count them, four wizard towers on the bottom side. This is going to be a super Super tricky play here and Bali is just playing for points uh, at this at, at this stage. Yeah, and essentially with all those ground skeletons like I mentioned popped up and usually that is the meta and I don't know, is the putting ground skeletons next to single target infernos, is that going to still be a thing? Usually to try to prevent the world champion from taking it out, but with now that new reworked lightning spell, if you drop it there, you'll kill off the skeletons that spawn, but also you'll reset that single target inferno, so it's kind of like acting as a freeze, and we'll have to recharge up taking down that hero, so it can be used in so many different ways, And but Hogs is very difficult there, looks like Volley's going to finish off with just near 
almost towards a 70%, but it's looking like a 60, 70. He's looking to where to drop that final wizard to try to maybe get a 68%. But right there, Tribe has a big advantage with the very first attack. They came in with Nick's triple, and he does drop the wizard. He finds a small spot right there, and he's gonna get the 68, but Woody, wow, things really went off when that queen couldn't take that town hall down. You're right about that, Carbon. This was a pretty risky play here from Vale. Definitely has the chance to pull off the three star, but with one wrong move in the early stage of this attack, you're forced to throw out your entire plan and try to refocus onto getting at least the town hall down. It is an absolute catastrophe if you don't get that town hall. Uh, and so rather than trying to make some sort of risky play work off that time, I think he made the right call by going to plan B, taking down the town hall and trying to get as much of a percentage uh, uh, as he possibly could after that. Uh, however, alternate attacks is going to be behind now in the overall destruction game, and it's Tribe's War uh, to lose at this point, ahead with a three star on their first hit and looking for their second one. Yeah, absolutely. And to think, Tribe starts off with a triple and going in with that zap, Lalo taking the risk. But if you take out an eagle, and that clan castle that is so much value now the base designs you really have to start moving things around but we're going into the very next attack here which is going to be lexnos for tribe gaming uh, up against vale and lex is coming in with the hybrid as well and i'm looking to see if he's got any new update uh troops or spells and it's not looking like he's going with the classic uh hybrid with a yeti that lex loves to use on the outside to help set a funnel and potentially grab a defense behind a wall or a defense on the outside to help set that funnel for the queen walk. Yeah, he'll be kicking it old school with that queen walk all along the outside. Five healers to keep her boosted up is a pretty big commitment, but it could definitely be justified uh, if you've got to keep her in there for the long game. Lexus is going to be using one of those new super wall breakers to bust through this outer compartment and moving on in now, tearing down this Inferno Tower with some nice balloon coverage out in front of that Archer Queen. She's looking nice and healthy. Unfortunately, though, Barbarian King gets caught in a tornado trap, kind of spun around a little bit there before he gets taken down. Didn't get quite as much damage as I think Lexus was hoping for but yeah watch out for the head worry about that tornado oh. later on the headhunters here can they go down to the poison doing some work and that lava hound's gonna slow that queen down but was able to take down that enemy queen there and did activate that tornado trap very nice so with that king so he won't find it with the royal champion of hogs as he moves his way around into the base even though miners they don't get affected by the tornado trap and the queen is making her way through still has her ability intact drops the next rage to keep her up and alive she can grab that both of those expos there, but she cannot grab that air defense. So he's gonna have to uh, grab that with the miners there before it takes out the healers. And watch out, we might have a healer switch unless this queen does not take any more damage from the core. Watch out with the Grand Warden World Champion. They're moving their way right to this town hall, Woody. Nice protection there from the Grand Warden, keeping those hogs and miners on track. The hogs are gonna go for direct uh, damage targeting buildings first, so they're gonna help out those miners quite a bit. Heal spells are really great with both hogs and miners, so as long as he can keep them all relatively spread out, but focused enough that the heal spell will get maximum value, he might be on the path to a three star, another one for Tribe Gaming. That single target Inferno up top is looking awfully scary for this Archer Queen, but if she can get locked onto the enemy Barbarian King and Eagle Artillery before the Hog Riders get pummeled by it, I think that he's, he's looking great. Yeah, he's got that queen still with her ability. Is he going to have to use it through the enemy king and the eagle artillery? Down it goes with some hogs moving up top with one freeze. Uses it on the single. Watch out. We do have that in core clan castle there. Remember, the balloons will not target unless all the defenses are down. The queen's getting locked out oh. by the single. Can she get out? Oh, she, she gets out. Woody. Wow. Escapes that single target Inferno Reach, wow. and that's gonna be a huge boost for Lexnos. There is no way that this base is gonna stand up against the might of this tribe gaming army. Storming through and busting down the last remaining defenses, these miners will not be uh -oh. denied. Undermining Vale's defensive efforts and going close to three stars. Uh -oh. He's running low on time, time, but can he get it? I think he He's might got... still have a good shot. He's got 10, 10 seconds, seconds left can for the clan the miners do it? Oh, the go, queen, is she go, gonna go with go. the Myers? Five seconds? Dig oh, through, a spring trap three, kicks him off! Two, That's not oh, candy! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Zero seconds left and he oh. still did it! Lexnos, an absolute beast! We oh, did not my. expect that at all! Right down to the wire! 
Tribe Gaming managing to maintain that perfect score for the moment. Six stars to four, 100% to 81%. What a start for Tribe Gaming. They can even le uh, take their foot off the pedal slightly if they want to. Absolutely incredible. Came down to the final second. Those spring traps right there almost cost it. It was time. The miners get it done. And he did drop the loon. He was thinking that the loon would go to that clan castle once a single target in front of would go down, but it kept going across the base there. And then it ended up going down to the sinking air mine. But man, what an attack. And now we're jumping into the very next one, which is going to be asked of alternate attacks. He's looking to take down Nick. Woody, they really need a triple to answer this. They definitely need one here and now. No time to pump the brakes. But hey, Ast is also known for being one of the best players from alternate attack. When we asked Lenade who the best three-star hit rate player on, their, on his team was, he didn't hesitate. He said Ast. This guy is coming in hard and heavy with 44 Hog Riders. Forget the Miners. We're going straight for the defenses this time. This is a big and beefy all-in attack from Ask going straight for the Town Hall to start off with and then looking to clean up for three stars soon after. That Wall Wrecker is going to help provide some coverage for this Queen as she makes her charge in. No healers for her this, this time. She's just going to get some coverage out in front from those Ice Golems uh, to get the first stage down on this base. But can she go for the Town Hall? It looks like she's a bit distracted, Garvin. Yeah, it looks like she's walking around the Pekka's working on the Town Hall. Will it go down? And yeah. it does go down right there with an Ice Golem now coming through. Watch out. We saw an earlier attack try to come in with a ma mass amount of Hawks here with the Lightning as well, but there is probably a bunch of Ground Skellies, so that's going to really stall up the run. There's the first set of Ground Skellies right there that pops up, uses the Grand War Internal Tome super early. King's going to be used down south to help grab a bunch of these defenses and the enemy raw champion, and the Hogs are moving through. There's the first heal. He has another one and a free spell to use. So let's see if he can do it. Yeah, unfortunately hitting quite a few spring traps early on there. Ast is having a bit of difficulty rounding the bottom side of the space. Now, fortunately for him, he's only got single target Infernos to go up against, so those Hog Riders don't have too much of a difficulty if they can make it past these big splash damage defenses. Looks like he's actually been able to keep that scatter shot off the Hog Riders. Yeah. Very good result there. That Royal Champion providing some excellent coverage as we move around this base counter -clock or clockwise. It looks like Ast might actually have this one in the back. He's got a couple of splash damage defenses to take down, but plenty of time to clean up afterwards. Yeah, oh, look at that giant bomb and the bomb tower, but it's gonna be enough, and he's gonna answer and get the first triple four alternate attacks here, but alternate attacks is gonna have to start getting the three stars because Tribe Gaming started two for two with back-to-back -back triples. Beautiful attack here coming in with the Zap Hogs, I guess that's what we'll call it, taking out that clan, the clan castle and that town hall with the hero charge into it behind the wall wrecker. Very very nice attack getting it done. Unfortunately, the first hog attack that alternate attacks tried, it fell short. But this one, when you get the town hall, you get so much value. Yeah, great job there to ask. It looked a little shaky at the beginning. They're losing so many hog riders uh, to the queen and to those spring traps, but great use of heal spells to keep them topped off toward the end. And he had plenty of cleanup troops and plenty of time left. That actually might've been the most dominant three-star hit that we've seen so far this war. If you're asking for alternate attacks to start putting three stars up on the board, hey, Ast is the guy to do it. He's got seven stars total for his team now. And with two attackers left, they are still definitely in this game, Carbon. Yeah, absolutely, Woody. But we're jumping straight into the next match, which is going to be Eve Check. And Eve Check is using the first time we're seeing it in the update here in this war, which is going to be the Super Witches with three bullets. Remember, each Super Witch takes 40 camp space. That is a lot. So you really have to make sure you're going to be using each one to its fullest potential. Because if one dies, imagine 40 camp space going down with, and they're going to spawn one big boy moving in. So that's a lot of HP that he's going to try to charge in with two jumps and a siege barracks. Maybe with hogs, we'll have to see what comes out of that. Yeah, interesting that we're going to get to see the Super Witch in action now. Those big boys can deal a ton of damage and are really tanky out in front. So Eve Check has gone hard and heavy uh, on this new attack strategy. He was actually the first MVP ever in the Clash of Clans Worlds Qualifier back in March 2019. So this guy has got some of the deepest experience at the top level of competitive Clash of Clans in the whole world. Getting burnt up by an Inferno Tower, trying to take it down just in time to keep uh, it off of those heroes. I think he's got this first stage of the attack looking good. Nails that town hall and the first star is in the back, Carbon. 
Yeah, the first star was taken down. I did saw, see that there was a Inferno Dragon that was also the new super troop that was defending for Yo-Yo's base right there. But these super witches, can the healers keep them up? They need to stay. The Scattershot is doing some work to them with a back and single. It needs to go down with the Raw Champion. Still has her ability. But let's see, this Queen is still moving through. Popsy Raw Champ ability. Can he have it? Does he have just enough here? Wait a second. He still has some super witches inside the core. Royal Champions doing some nice work on the outside with a Pekka there. Queen ability. This is looking pretty solid for Eve Check. Yeah, I think more so than any other army composition, this super witch heavy deployment from Eve Check can really still dish out a ton of damage, even with a relatively small number of troops. That Super Witch takes 40 housing space, so it looks like there's not very many troops left on the board, but there's actually still a ton of firepower left in waiting. With over, a, uh, actually just under a minute now at this point, Eve Check has still got his Archer Queen ability, which he's probably gonna pop on the backside here to keep her healthy against these uh, defensive structures. Lost his healers, which are kind of looping down toward the bottom now, but I'm pretty sure Eve Check is on his path to another triple, putting Drive Gaming almost out of range for alternate attacks. They've gotten three star hits with all three of their attacks and this tic-tac-toe uh, cannot be turned around at this point. It looks like alternate attacks has a big struggle uphill after this beautiful performance from Eve Oh yeah, way to use this super, which is beautiful. Showing everybody at home how to use it. That's the beautiful thing about this is you get to watch at home and now you know how the pros use it so you can use it. Man, absolutely incredible, Banks. It really is. We have another triple on the board for Tribe Gaming. Absolutely stellar performance from all three of them so far. Like you said, where the alternate attacks really do have a bit of an uphill battle to go from here. But it's still anyone's game. We can never rule anything out. However, Tribe Gaming really have stamped their foot down and solidified their slot in this first qualifier. Awesome job there, and take a look at the replay for the early stage of this attack. Nice job to Eve Check getting all of those Super Witches right in the perfect positioning to keep them tightly knit together and safe behind the protection of those big boys. We're gonna be hopping into our next attack here. It's gonna be Yo-Yo from Alternate Attacks, moving in with Hogs and Miners. Five healers to back up this queen walk along the top side of the base, hopefully trying to get that CC pool and the Town Hall down with her first stage of this attack. Yeah, Yo-Yo's looking to use some hogs here to pull out the clan castle, which is, has one headhunter in there. Drops a rage for the queen. Wait a second, where's the oh. poison? Finally drops it. The rage is trying to keep this queen alive. Just barely slows that headhunter yes. down to keep to heal that queen back up. That was super close. And the headhunter does a, gets a lot of value as a defending clan castle because if the attacker is not ready, doesn't react in time, that can absolutely take down enemy, your heroes, especially your Grand Warden, which cannot fight back. And you have to be very careful, but Yo-Yo going in with the hybrid. Skelly's pop hybrid are miners, hogs, drops the first heal straight in. The queen looks to be walking up and still has that super wall breaker to break the queen in the base up top. Beautiful beginning for Jojo. It was looking a little bit dicey there with the Archer Queen up top, having to drop an early poison spell to take care of that Lob Hound and the uh, Headhunter at the same time. But he's following up beautifully, uses that Grand Warden Eternal Toe to protect the Hogs right off the back of that Town Hall knockdown. And this is already a two-star hit, but he's got a lot on the backside to worry about. That Eagle Artillery is hammering away at those Hog Riders, and enemy Archer Queen and Barbarian King are still up and standing. Can he get them down, Carbon? Yeah, he's trying to charge his way in. The scatter shot does lock onto some of the hogs in the core. Uh, Skelly pops up by the bottom. Single target Infernal Queen's going to be able to reach it. Freeze. Oh, wait, the scatter shot doing some work. World Champion still got her ability. Queen has her ability. Can these miners down south? This enemy king is going to do some massive work. The single down south goes down. Queen burns her ability with one freeze left. Does he have enough here, Woody? Jojo's bizarre adventure along the top side is getting paid in dividends. Great job to this queen staying alive deep into this attack, but he's run out of hog riders and miners at this point. Only a few more to hit away at that uh, Barbarian King plant. It looks like they're having some trouble taking down this Inferno Tower. Oh. They need a lot of support from this Grand Warden. They might get the three star after all, Carbon. I don't know. Oh, it's going to be close. That Grand Warden's going to help so much, and the single target is going to go. Oh! And Yo-Yo is going to get the triple there on Itsu's base. It looks like almost every single one of the troops is gone. Those archers spawned from the Queen's ability, and that is all that he needed to get the triple. That was super close. What a clutch Warden right there. Beautiful hit for alternate attacks. 
but at the rate that Tribe is coming in three for three, they are well in the lead right now, have the advantage, but alternate attacks are not out of this one. Grand Warden flipped the switch to Wumbo and went for a huge strike at the last stage of that attack, winning by the skin of his teeth. But hey, a three star is a three star, no matter how you cut it. Great job there to Jojo, keeping alternate attacks in this race, even if they're still trailing a tribe gaming team that has yet to even see a two star hit. It's gonna be Itsu next, the pride of this German army, storming on in with hog riders, miners, and also bringing forth another headhunter. It seems like almost Almost every hog miner attack has had a headhunter in there to try to take down those pesky heroes on the backside. Now that there's four heroes in the interior of each of these top level bases, they're tricky to finish off, aren't they, Carbon? Yeah, absolutely. With the royal champion, the king, the queen, and the grand warden acting as that defensive, which the headhunter does not target that grand warden structure because it is a, it acts as a defense there. But let's see, does take the town hall down right there. He didn't find any seeking air mines. So the blimp made it all the way there. The Yetis helped take it down, pulled out the Lava Hound, a def two defending headhunters here. Get ready to see the queen on the outside. He's gonna come in with the hybrid 17 miners. And he has the king. There's the first poison spell. Gotta has to make sure these headhunters, bam, they go down from the one shot of the queen. So if you time it right, you can easily take them down. But let's see what type of path he's gonna set the king up top. And most likely gonna try to see if the hybrid comes in between here. But he does have two super wall breakers to charge the queen into the base. Looks like that poison spell missed a few of the pups, and they're going to get some decent damage in against one of those healers, which is now below half health. You really need to keep those healers healthy, and so any air bomb could uh, slow Itsu down a little bit over on that left edge. Keeping this Archer Queen up and alive uh, with that Barbarian King out in front should give him an easy access into this left side compartment. He's got two Super Wall Breakers to bust in wherever Itsu feels it's appropriate, but here come the Hogs storming into the left side corner, and they're going to get an early heal spell too to keep them nice and topped off. Great job predicting that giant bomb location. They're going to stay nice and healthy under the protection of this Grand Warden, even with multi-target Inferno starting to burn them up, Carbon. Yeah, looks like he had a healer transfer off that Queen. Burns the Queen ability. Royal Champion up top did go down, unfortunately. I think he more wanted that King to run up and around, not down into the wall there, because now he sold and he took the healers away. Does have the Queen walking on the outside of the base, but does he have enough here in the court with a Rage down? Skeleton pops. Those healers need to transfer off to the Miners and Hogs over on the other side, but this Queen's doing some massive work on the outside, cleaning up. He might just have enough here. Let's see, he's got a mine, he's got many enough time for cleaning. The Hogs are making their way through. The Queen's gonna go down to the cannon, oh. unfortunately. But does he have enough on the outside? Oh, it's looking like it's getting picked off and it's gonna fall short on, oh man. That's not gonna be enough there for Itsu. The Queen following along the bottom edge, losing her healers who got stuck on a Barbarian King, topping him off and not helping out the main stage of this attack is what gave uh, Itsu such a hard time here. That Grand Warden was almost enough to put him over the top, doing a great job uh, following onto those Hog Riders and keeping them nice and healthy. But Itsu is gonna fall short of the three star in this attack uh, by Tribe. They're gonna, going up against Lene uh, and working for as much damage as they possibly can. They're gonna still be ahead of alternate attacks overall with uh, three out of their four hits being three stars, uh, but opening up a little bit now against an alternate attacks team that seemed somewhat hopeless uh, before that first three star just came in from them. We're starting to narrow the gap, Carbon. Yeah, yeah. wow. We are indeed. There's one star that splits the teams right now. So we never said that alternate attacks were out of this one. It is sure going to be close. And we promised you an absolute banger of a first match in these qualifiers, didn't we, Carbon? Oh, yeah, absolutely there. We've seen a handful of these triples. And the beautiful thing is using the new troop, the new spell rework of the lightning and incredible to show everyone how to use it at home, how they can get the three stars, especially in their wars and help their clan to victory. And now we have Boom that we heard from the interview with you, Mr. Banks there. And he's gonna come in with the, looks to be the Zap Lalo as well. Seven lightning spells. And look at this queen right next to the clan castle. And he's taking full advantage of it. Let's see, keep that earthquake away from the town hall so you don't activate it and he's gonna fly in with two hounds and 33 balloons.
Boom, bang, zap, and she is out of there. Boom for alternate attacks needs a three star here and now. There is nothing less that would satisfy his teammates. Alternate attacks needs to get that star count up to 13 and push for the highest possible percentage since they're behind uh, by almost 5% against Tribe Gaming at this point. Down a star and 5% is a big gap to cover with just one attack left. But if anyone can do it, Boom would be the man known worldwide for his stellar performance. He's feared by his enemies and loved by his compatriots, but it's all up to him now to put those points on the board and keep his team alive. With this attack, the Queen is charging on in, no healers to back her up for the first stage of this Lava Loon hit. He's taken down a big chunk of the interior now before he finally moves in with his one uh, Lava Hound on the bottom, the second one backing it up now over on the right side corner. Oh yeah, that, the way, his, the value that he got from his heroes there, taking out the scatter shots, and now he's just gonna Lalo right around super easily, drops that rage, and there is the enemy Royal Champion up top, but he's got two Headhunters that he could use for it. But let's see, these balloons pops the Grand Warrior ability to keep them alive here. Town Hall is gonna go down, he's moving his way up, has two freezes left to use here, and he's got a Toss the Farm Queen moving around the outside, and get ready for all the, oh, we got some air skellies popping up as well, some red air bombs. But let's see, can he move his way through with only one freeze left, Woody? One freeze left, he's gonna use it on that wizard tower, trying to keep these balloons as best protected as he can. There's a Tesla farm in the top left corner that could cause some trouble here for Boom, but it's looking like he's got a really good shot at nuking down the remaining structures along the backside. He still has that Archer Queen as well, helping with some cleanup, and it looks like there's no more walls that he has to worry about. I think Boom just might have done it, Carmen. He's on the way to three. Yes, absolutely. With that queen ability still intact, this is going to be a triple with the Zap Lalo again. We're seeing another three star coming in with that new lightning spell rework there. An unbelievable showing how to get it done. Boom. Beautiful hit, bringing alternate attacks even closer. They need this comeback to try to get that victory. Wow, look at that right there, because remember, this is, you win and you advance here, and it's, it's everything's on the line. Very nice attack from Boom. B-E-A, beautiful play from Boom, setting them up, rolling it down, and knocking them over. Alternate attacks has got a 92.4% average destruction against the tribe with 13 stars on the board. All they have to do now is sit back, hope, and pray that their defenses can hold up. Tribe Gaming has got a big advantage now. All they need is a strong two-star hit to cement their win, and it's going to be Eve Maxi going in for the kill. Oh yeah, Eve Maxi coming in right here with the drag bat, and he is coming back to join in with Tribe Gaming, and he is the closer here in the very first match, the actual opening match in the 2020 qualifiers here. The pressure is on the line. Can they take down alternate attacks? He's taking his time here. Drops. Oh, looks, he finds a spring trap right away up at 12, and look at that. Now he can drop a giant right into there and I think he was trying to maybe drop the giant first and tank but that bowler will not get the bowler bounce onto potentially that air defense which unfortunately the timing was off there does use the king that's going to be pulled to this royal champion potentially right after she targets out to the barbs yes there he is and the royal champion coming behind the king to tank the roar of dragons can be heard in the distance the first time we've seen mass drags brought in the Clash of Clans World Championship this so far this year. Ten attacks are all on the board now, but Eve Maxi, the only brave enough guy to bring it from the skies, breathing fire down on Asp's base. He's going to be moving along the outer edges, just getting some positioning uh, done here and taking down a few of the interior structures along the left side corner. But the main thrust is moving in now. A Sui hero along the bottom corner uh, will get a little bit of damage chipped off. But I got to say, this is still looking like a pretty scary base to have to go up against. He's knocked down some of the heroes, which can cause trouble for these dragons. Uh, but the spread is looking pretty deadly. A Grand Warden to back these guys up, and they're going to be going straight for the Town Hall very shortly, Carbon. Yeah, and he needs to get an 81% two-star here to cement the victory. 
for Tribe Gaming. The dragons are charging their way straight into the town. Oh, a bunch of air skellies are popping up. Pops the Grand Warden ability super early here. And let's see, what does he have? He has a, a few bats that were actually dropped in front. The town all goes down and he avoids. Oh, I don't know if he avoids oh. the, the Gigabob just in time. But here comes the bats over at three o'clock. He drops the freeze finally on the Wiz Tower. He's got 55%, but he's going to have the bats. He needs to keep this Wizard Tower. He does keep it frozen. He's moving his way through. Can he get to 81 here? I don't know. There are quite a few ground expos set up on defense, so Maxi doesn't have to worry too much about those. He's trying to use those bats to protect the dragons on the top side. Those single target Inferno Towers are burning up his attackers, and unfortunately for him, the Grand Warden has been finished off. So many clumped up dragons along the interior of the base are getting burnt up now, but remember, he only has to get to that 81% wow. to overcome the alternate attacks overall destruction average. I think wow. he's just about getting ready to do it, Carbon. Yeah, he's getting closer. It's the a few dragons on the outside. It looks like he's going to just be able to get the percentage. And that's all. That, there's the 81. There is the 82. And he passes the mark right there. Uh, it wasn't the uh, prettiest. There was a ton of air skellies. I think Ass was ready for an air attack. A Lalo. But we saw Eve Maxi getting what he needed done. And he knew exactly the percentage. You definitely know all these players playing in the qualifiers. Know the percent that they need. Beautiful job right there for Tribe Gaming. That was Victorious. incredibly close ending right there. 87% two star. He only needed the 81, but just managed to close it out, Eve Maxi. We all got a little bit nervous towards the end just there, but that was an incredible way to kick off the competition, wasn't it, Woody?